Huey Library hosted two senior art exhibitions on its second floor. Emboldened by Emily Golden and Pure Perceptions by Ariel Bridges showcase the hard work these two students have committed to over the course of their college careers. I had the privilege of speaking with both of them. For Emboldened, Golden was inspired by a pattern she observed in pieces throughout history. I am replicating poses of idealized female nudes from art history and I am adding my own twist to them by putting the viewer in a 21st century place and um, going against everything that was idealized about the female. I was in my first semester at Henderson and I was in my very first art history class which was the ancient to medieval with Dr. Kelsey Malone and I was introduced to this idea of the idealized female and the standards in which they were held um, and presented and I realized that there was no bodies like mine and it just kind of sparked my inspiration to want to do something with the female nude and um, I was also doing a master study on Jenny Seville who's a British painter and the whole premise behind her work is the same thing. She's working against everything that's been established in art history to um, make present the female in a way that's not realistic. Bridges opted to capture innocence for pure perceptions. So my work is based off of they're all portraits whether it be an animal or like a smaller child usually um, and it's mostly because with animals and small children you tend to think that they're like pure of heart and I wanted to kind of show that through like color and stuff through each piece. Each piece is different and individual and it's also based off of their name meanings um, so each piece's name is the name of each person or each animal. Um, some are more di direct and some are more like not. I took a screen printing class with uh, Mr. David Warren and we did uh, Andy Warhol prints and I actually had a print that was in the spring uh, exhibition uh, last spring and I, it, people really liked it. Art comes in many forms and that is on perfect display with the differences between these two exhibits. Golden created her pieces using pose recreation and paint techniques. Honestly, it all started with like a simple Google search of like um, nude female in art history. And I just kind of went through and I tried to pick pieces that were well-known famous pieces um, so that viewers who didn't have as much of a background in art history would maybe recognize some of the pieces that I was referencing. And then as far as brushwork goes, I wanted to be very expressive in my brushwork because that was not seen in art historical precedent. So everything was usually very flawlessly blended in um, these portraits of these females. So I explicitly chose not to flawlessly blend anything in my paintings. Bridges, a graphics design major, went digital for her exhibit, utilizing several art programs in the process. First I took, I tried to take the best photos that I had that had the best lighting in them. I'd take those in the Photoshop and I'd bring out like the shadows and the midtones and the highlights and then it kind of gives a kind of layered effect uh, for that and then I would take that into Procreate which is an application on the iPad for illustration and drawing and uh, basically I just went based off of my prior knowledge of like their personalities and what their names meant and it just progressed slightly through there. Both students spoke of the exciting experience of having their work exhibited in the library. This is something like having a senior exhibition is something that every art student is working towards from the minute they get to Henderson. Mm -hmm. And the whole process leading up to it is exhausting and it's draining. But once you actually see your work like in a public setting for people to come and look at, I know like for me, I was overwhelmed with a lot of emotions because I was happy and I was honored and I was so thankful that okay, this is it. I'm about to graduate. This is something I've been working for since I've got here. So honestly, I was never the type that like dreamed of having an exhibit because I've always wanted to do freelance work. But having this exhibit, like just having the opportunity to have the ex exhibit at the college is like so wonderful because I never knew that many people would like, like my work or comment on my work. And it's nice to have that feedback. And um, it also gives my work out there for if I want to do commissions on it too. So it's really nice. Congratulations to Emily Golden and Ariel Bridges on their outstanding accomplishments. With Henderson Television, I'm Sydney Bowman.